When the Holy Spirit come upon someone, impossibility become possible. When the Holy Spirit take over, impossibility become possible. I don't want to claim that I know. Let me say, I don't know whether this is going to be the message for today. Praise the Lord. But we can't quench on the Spirit. If we go to Genesis chapter 1, Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1. Remember the prayer song we started with. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Is it about to say, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you. No, in the later thing, so. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Oh Lord, come down and manifest your power. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 1, from verse 1. We talk about him, and we praise him that he is a miracle of God. Miracle worker is his name. Miracle worker is his business. Or miracle worker is his business. Put it in my hands. Put it in my hands. My own miracle. Put it in my hands. Put it in my hands. Father, put it in my hands. My only one who put it in my hands. No, don't give it to someone to come and give it to me. Just give it to me. So that's all I want. So there will be no delay. No failure. Let it come straight into my hands. Father, put it in my hands. Put it in my hands. My only one who put it in my hands. Put it in my hand, put it in my hand, my own miracle, put it in my hand. You are not in the ordinary service. The problem is that, uh, don't be like a tortoise that can spend even 1,000 years under the water and they will come out and steal his heart as a rock. You need to tune your antennas to the frequency of the Holy Spirit so that you can receive the information from heaven. Put it in my hands. Put it in my hands. My own miracle. Put it in my hands. Put it in my hands. Put it in my hands. My own miracle. Put it in my hands. Lord, put it in my hands. If it's a visa, Lord, stamp it in my passport. Whatever that you have for me, put it in my hand. Lord, let that call, make that call straight to my number. Let the call go through. Father, put it in my hand. Put it in my hand. My own miracle, put it in my hand. Your focus must be unto him. Put it in my hand, put it in my hand, my own miracle, put it in my hand, put it in my hand, put it in my hand, my own miracle, put it in Jesus, Savior, I pray. 
Father, Father, my own, my own miracle. Jesus, Jesus, I pray. Jesus, oh Lord, I pray. Jesus, my Lord, I pray my own miracle. Jesus, Jesus, I pray my own miracle. Jesus, Savior, I pray my own miracle. Genesis chapter 1 from this one miracle worker. <laughs> In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Thou art worthy. Thou art worthy, O Lord. Worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, O Lord. Empower, empower, Lord, for thou hast created all things and for the pleasure they are and were created. Verse 2 The earth was without form. The earth was without form. Number two, in void. Number three, darkness was on the face of the deep. Number four, in the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. The earth was without form. The air was without form. It's not abnormal for the Lord our God to formalize the informal. He has done it before, he will do it again and again and again. And this time, he will do it in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. He said the air was without form. And void, meaning it was empty. Are you listening? Are you paying attention? Or your mind is dancing somewhere around. I pray it will not be so. The air was without form. And as it was without form, it was also void or empty, barren. You may be here this evening, and you are like, or the state of your life is like that time. How the earth looked like. When people are looking at you, they say, We don't know whether he is going or coming. We don't know whether she is going or coming. Hey, that one, we don't know whether he is alive or dead. That, that loss of once upon a time, this earth you see with all kinds of wonderful uh, landscapes. There was a time it was without form. And it was empty. All this diamond and oil and copper and gold and all kinds of precious stones we are digging from the earth. There were no day. There was a time the earth was without form and 
was empty. It's not abnormal for someone's life to be like that. But the fact that right now you are without form and you are empty does not mean the Lord will not shape you into a kind of a vessel that will bring glory and honor to Him. Now that you are empty, does not mean that the Lord your God who created you in His own image, in His own likeness, will not be Joy with all kind of wonderful benefits. So the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Right now, no form in your life, you are empty, and what is all around you. Is darkness. David yourself is saying, I don't know where my life is going to. It's not a crazy thing to say. <laughs> Humanly speaking, you don't know where your life is going to. But he that created you, as he told us in Isaiah 51, he said, Listen, Isaiah chapter 51, from this one. To say, listen. Because in your emptiness, in your formless, with all kind of darkness around you, yet you are seeking the Lord. You are standing in the path of righteousness. You have refused to steal so that you can eat. You chose to go hungry than eating the delicacy from the table of the wicked kings of the state. 